looks like any other 7-Eleven with regular looking gas pumps, the signature Slurpee, and an ATM just inside. But looks can be deceiving. It felt like it was glued on there. Honestly, Ben well, Carlson like knew something about it. this it's ATM just wasn't right. I've been doing it for years, and this is the first time that I've actually found one. Ben yanked a hidden skimmer off this ATM, a hardly detectable device attached to a card reader to steal your information. It is happening across the country. Here in the Metro, police are seeing a big spike in credit card skimmers, especially at gas pumps. While they're almost impossible to detect, fraud detectives tell the problem solvers there are things you can do to minimize your risk. Their best advice, always pay for gas indoors. If you pay at the pump, never use a debit card. Also, look for these labels on the credit card panel. If the label's broken, well, a criminal's likely opened it up. When they open up the panel, they would tear that, that sticker in half. Skimmers are becoming smaller and more sophisticated, so much so criminals today don't have to physically retrieve them. They can download your personal information using Bluetooth from half a block away. Criminals are becoming more sophisticated, but so are gas stations. For example, King Supers now has new fraud detection systems installed at all of their pumps. So if someone messes with this, an alarm will immediately go off, an email goes out to store managers, and the pump is automatically shut down. A little clever. As for Ben Carlson, he returned to the 7 Eleven today and found yet another skimmer on the ATM. Just basically just Hold it off the top. And that means he'll continue to closely inspect ATMs. It, it felt like all my paranoia was warranted finally. Kagan Harsha, Fox 31. All right, Kagan, thank you very much. Not to wait.